Hi guys, um, I decided to film a video on the um, dinner that I was making on Tuesday night. So, so it's Tuesday afternoon and I'm just putting together my recipe for a crock pot chicken and stuffing. It's super easy, um, it's super versatile so you can change it up however you prefer for your family. Um, but I'm just doing a simple chicken and stuffing tonight. So I'm gonna pop this in the crock pot and just let it sit and cook all day and my house is gonna smell so good. So let's jump right in. So this is what you're gonna need. Super simple. Crock pot, stove top stuffing mix, whatever brand or kind variation that you want. Um, I need eight ounces of sour cream so I'm only gonna use half of that. I have four pretty large chicken breasts, um, a can of condensed cream of chicken soup, funny story, went grocery shopping yesterday, did the meal plan, forgot this, which is what I needed for dinner tonight. Uh, so <laughs> needless to say, I just got back from the store. And then I just have a small can of reduced sodium chicken broth. It only calls for half a cup, but then at the end of the cooking time, if your stuffing's a little dry, you can add some more. So I'm just going to pop this all together and I'll show you as I go. Alright, so to start off, you're going to need a bowl, a spoon, so I have these two things, and in your crock pot. So I've made this where you put carrots in the bottom or whatever vegetables. If you like onions, we're not an onion family, but you could put onions in the bottom and let the chicken cook over top of that. I'm just going to put the chicken, which I've salt and peppered, right in here. And I'm making this with the intentions of having some leftovers. We're a family of four with two adults, a six-year-old, and a four-year-old. So I know that they'll probably split and not even finish a chicken breast. Um, and then me and my husband will probably have close to one, so we'll have some leftovers for later in the week. So, in this bowl, I'm going to put one container of stuffing mix. And I just went with the regular chicken stovetop stuffing mix. There's another really good one, which is, I think, savory herb. love the smell of that. It's like Thanksgiving in a box. Okay, so to that we're going to add half of this container of sour cream. So let me One can of my cream of chicken soup. I don't know about the rest of you, but I cannot wait for full time fall weather. We've had yesterday and today, which have been in the 50s. And I am loving it. Okay, so I have my chicken broth and my handy dandy can opener. So it says to add about a half a cup. So I do about half. So you just want to incorporate all this. And the best part about this recipe is not only is it easy, it makes your house smell divine. And what it is, the seasonings and everything else. So this could not be easier. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. This fold and then 
all you do is just spread this right over, over the chicken. Another cool option that I have done before is you can either, like I said, put the vegetables on the bottom or if you're one of those people that likes your food to be separated and you just want to use the crock pot and not dirty other dishes, you can layer you can layer a piece of foil and poke a couple holes so that the steam will come up and you can put your vegetables. So if you want to add celery, cranberries, um, onions, carrots, any of those things, you can get creative. And then you just put them on top with the lid and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on, plug this in, and put it on low for six to seven hours. And then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, we are home from soccer practice in the vet, and this smells delicious. So it cooked for about six and a half hours, and it is cooked through super juicy. So there is the finished chicken. It looks so good and I did not have to add any additional broth. So we just have a side salad to go with it. So there's dinner. Let me know if you guys try this one. Hope you enjoyed it.